Hey, it's me, Pro Jared, and this is Mighty Number no. Nine. Now, we're all aware of the great controversy surrounding this game with the Kickstarter, and basically everybody's saying that this is the worst game ever, and it absolutely sucks, and no one should ever play it. I kickstarted this game, way more money than I recall doing. That I got a bunch of extra stuff with it, like. Uh, gold skins and extra abilities or some other stuff. I don't even remember what anymore. But I refuse to believe that this is the worst game ever, and I feel like a lot of people are kind of shitting on it unnecessarily. So I'm going to play it all the way through right now, because I know it's a relatively short game, to see if there's any merit to what people are saying. Now, I did play a little bit already on a stream, previously and um what i discovered that there's just there was something wrong with the game that caused like a huge memory leak or something within my computer and almost killed my pc i had like repair windows and a bunch of extra stuff it was not pretty but anyway i figured it'd be safer or easier just to do it this way and let have some official uh record of me playing through it for all of you to enjoy or not enjoy we'll see so I, i'm at least a little bit experienced with some of the the uh the, the concepts to the game which will help me uh speed through some of the earlier stages and whatnot one thing i did notice is that my god is there a lot of talking this is supposed to be like a Mega Man kind of game. All I want to do is run around and shoot dudes. And there's a lot of talking, right? Like this. System ready. Go! Wait, hold on. You got to talk for a while. Professor. About stuff you just uh, back. really don't care about. Normally, it would appear. What on earth has happened? And it's the worst part is, everywhere. is like, you can't. Well, well, we won't figure it out here. I don't want to speed through the text or anything. This, this is great. Back. You forge your head. And clear a secure path. I'll follow and monitor your progress. All right, I got it. Yes, sir. So let me get in there and shoot. All right, there we go. And we're going. Yay. There's no charge attack. It's just jumping and shooting. And then uh, the only other thing you can do is you have this dash ability. Which, uh... Oh, I don't have yet, I guess. <laughs> I guess it'll be activated later. So I barely moved around, walked and jumped... And then, um, oh look, more talking. Once again, the president has declared a countrywide state of emergency. They did, huh? This based on reports of haywire robots rampaging out of control in all 52 states. That's right, 52 states. We and finally took have Canada. A from Gregory Graham, CEO of Cherry Dynamics. Yeah, he's evil. Cherry Dyne, of course, being the world's leading robot manufacturer. He's evil. Let's go there now, live. Attention. <laughs> Attention. There's like just two cameramen just constantly <laughs> flashing off to the side. Hello, Americans. In this time of crisis, we at Cherry Dine would just I like guess to express canonically everything in this game takes place in America rather than the world. Dr. Blackwell. He's the one behind this. Blame him. Yeah, you're evil. <laughs> we at Cherry Dine. I like the purple suit though. Oh, we can to help fix the situation. It's Blackwell. Hello, is this thing on? Yep. Avi? <clears throat> and now let's go live to our eye in the sky, Avi, for today's Avi News Traffic. This is one of the other mighty numbers, one of the Thanks, bosses. Avi. As you can see, we've got a few accidents eastbound on, well, everywhere. This. Mighty number six. There, number six, that's it. All right, thank you. You could just show the mighty number six part and it would have been fine. I would like to actually play the game, please. So that part's obnoxious. And then you go into the next screen, and it's like, oh shit! Oh my god, it's an enemy! Back! Shoost him! Thank you, game. Yeah. Press the attack button three times. Shoot him. One, two, three. Yeah, so there it is, now I can dash. So using one of the trigger buttons, you got this uh, dash attack, which allows you to speed through things, but more importantly, when you attack an enemy and they get all 
pixely like that, you're supposed to da da dash into them to finish them off. And the more health they have left when you dash into them, the more percent slash combo you get, I guess? I don't entirely know. And that's how you get everyone's favorite high scores. But more importantly, some of these will give different color ones. Like this one's red. This will actually give me an improved attack boost for a while while I have it. See, like my shots go farther, they go through enemies. Uh, okay. And we're down here. Yay. But more importantly, you can just kind of use it to uh, dash through whatever you can. Yeah, combo. I have no idea what they're talking about down there. I'm not paying attention at all. <laughs> Is that a button? Or? Okay. Destroy all the enemies. See, you can destroy them by not dashing into them, but they take like a billion more shots. Like this guy. Like if I just... Like that's way more shots than needed, so... The game kind of encourages you to dash into enemies. Bring it on. Which I'm not sure if I like or not, because it kind of encourages you to speed through things and go quickly. But also set yourself up for pain and failure because you're dashing into enemies and putting yourself in in death zones because you gotta dash into them to finish them off. And you have to, because if you don't, they like regain their power. And that includes bosses. And it's super obnoxious when that happens, when you do a bunch of damage against a boss and suddenly he just heals back up because he went off screen. Here we go. Here we go. That's more like it. He also knows that every time Beck picks up a power up, he'll say something. So green is speed. Uh, red is attack power and yellow, I think it's like defense or something, so you take like slightly less damage for a while. Here we go. Get up, get up, please. Thank you. Here we go. 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 Every time. Yay. Okay. What was that? Boss door. See, that's very classic Mega Man right there, though. Opening up the boss door and stuff. Okay, I got it, Dr. White. Dr. White. Round digger. He's got 90,000 cells. Cells. Whatever. Just let me shoot him. So you guys see his life meter going down at the bottom, and then he turns purple, and you have to dash into him to, like, take away that life. Otherwise, he will heal it back up. So, again, just another one of those situations where. It just sets you up for pain because I could like dash too far and then get hit by him or one of his other attacks. Oh, so I don't. I can't quite decide how I feel about this. About this uh, concept of dashing into your enemies to finish them off or whatever. Alright, I got him. Yay. But I guess like dashing into them allows. N number nine to absorb their abilities and powers rather than just destroying them. I don't. I couldn't tell you exactly how it works. I'm sure there's plot and stuff explaining that. Sonda, are you all right? But man, I don't care. Well, back. Right. Thank goodness. Right there is not roll. But where are the other mighty numbers? <laughs> well, based on empirical evidence, I believe they might be suffering from this robot affliction that's going around. Not the robot affliction. Mikey. It's like every bot in America went completely nuts all at once. <laughs> oh, Let me contact my brother at the head office in Tokyo. Maybe he can send help. Yes. My Tokyo brother. I'm sorry, Soichiro. Please understand. The Japanese government uh, won't let us intervene until we know the cause of the malfunction. Yeah, we can't destroy robots until we know what's wrong with them. Then we'll destroy robots. I was afraid of that. Also, I guess not roll is awake now. After all. Any robots you send to help could be affected as well, making things even worse. That guy has surprisingly small legs for how much weight he has to carry. You figured they'd be like super buff. Robot rampage. We'll send aid. Absolutely, Professor White. Anything can I just... do. Did you have a plan in mind? I would like to play the game again. Yes. 
We'll send Beck to track Jesus. down all his fellow mighty numbers. There's like more talking and plot in this than like Wait, Mega Man what? 7 or Mega Man X3. His assimilation ability should filter any irregularities from his siblings programming. If we can gather and study multiple samples, perhaps we can isolate the cause of the problem. It's a long shot, but it's our Oh my only hope. god, her eyes look so dead. Hangs in the balance, I'll There's the no life there. So she can provide support. Let's get to it. Which I believe was intentional. Like she's supposed to be like an emotional emotionless robot. By the way, the names are yes, Beck and Call. I, uh, not to worry, Beck. This is well within your capabilities. Okay. Can I just go now? There we go. What should we tackle next? So this song sounds like it could come straight from a Mega Man X game and no one would know the difference. So now I got all the different mighty numbers we can go after. Uh, I'm just going to go after the one I did before. Power plant. You are all set. This is the one I played before and I did it on stream. And I want to do this because I feel I can get through pretty quickly. And then I can get her ability. Here we go. Yeah, see? So it just kind of seems like, I don't know if it's supposed to be spit, like speed running or whatever, but I don't know. What I feel like what I've seen in all my time playing it is that we just end up having all kinds of not very interesting environments or level design, really. Like. Uh, maybe it's not maybe it's too early to judge because I've only played uh, maybe a total of two stages, but so far What I've seen just has not been very interesting. That's like an e-tank by the way. That's what I'm getting there Alley-oop To this guy to shoot once and bam now I got super attack power So I can absorb them, but the only reason you do that is to get points because blue doesn't help you at all It's, it's just points other colors help you. Oh, hey! What the? I pressed up. God damn it! Now let's look. Let's be real here. I don't give a flying fuck about points. I can't imagine most people who are playing this do. And I, I don't know if they expected maybe a lot of people to play this game and want to get the top of the leaderboards or whatever, or if they put that in there to feel like maybe that gives people more replay value to get to the top of something I don't care about? I don't know. Alright, I'm being overly harsh. And I don't mean to do that. Let's just we'll get back to playing the game. Once again, giving it the benefit of the doubt. Go down, please. And, uh... Just, uh, act like it's not as bad as everyone says. Because you look at this. It, this is not, like, a horrible piece of garbage. Like, it controls just fine. The shooting works. The jumping is... Fluid and feels has like the right amount of weight and animation to it. I'm shooting just fine, dashing no problem. So why is everyone calling it the worst game ever? Shut up. Let me shoot, please. I guess those guys are providing comedy. Damn it. Ah, fuck. Good shot. Oh, you're too short for me to... Uh, just freaking... Come on. Thank you. That was a quick clear? I thought I did terrible. Yeah, these are on the outside. They're just supposed to spook you. See, I don't That's entirely know the whole point of that whole section. There's just a lot of dashing. Yeah, it's, a lot of the enemies aren't really like placed in areas that are setting themselves up for I don't know like tricky shots or difficult platforming or whatever they're just kind of right in the right in the way to get blasted like they set up the power guy down there allowing me to instantly kill all three of them I feel like that's more my criticism is that the level design and enemy placement just isn't interesting or hard I had a glitch there when I streamed it. I got stuck in the wall in the jumping animation. That was like just stuck there floating in midair with weird noises happening. 
There's like a, a clip of it somewhere that someone made. Ugh, God damn it. Alright, okay. Alley oop. See, just another e tank item there. Alright, so this part you have to dash under, and it's bullshit. Because you can't, like, the walking animation is so weird, I can't actually quite tell where my hitbox is. Thankfully, I've done this a couple times before, so I've got a better idea. And there's a difference between just dashing and holding down and dashing, which took me a while to figure out. The only difference is when you crouch dash, you're slightly lower. That's, that's like it. Bring it on. All right. Getting towards the end of the boss uh, with uh, B Lady, though. I have to kill a bunch of more dudes to open this up again, though. See, why are you, like, freaking out? You're not even here. You're back at base or whatever. She's a bee, by the way. Still talking. Delicious. There we go. See, and the thing is, it's like she actually has pretty good design. Like character design or boss design or whatever. It's actually not bad. And again, it's just a lot of talking before I actually get to fight her. Alright, here we go. Thankfully, I've fought her plenty of times before, so I know what to expect. Oops, stay with me, frame rate. She shoots out these little zappy things. When they're that low, nothing you can do about it. But she makes lightning go to them. See, like during the bosses, you still gotta absorb their energy, otherwise, they will just. Very quickly heal up. I'm gonna get hit. Ah, they got. All right, halfway through. Yay! Now, the first time I fought her, I did die several times because I had to like figure out her patterns and deal with whatever other bullshit she does. But now that I've played it a little bit more, I know what I'm doing. I'm doing better. This is not a good place to be yet. Up here. Up here. See, normally you're able to, like, destroy those, but they're too high for me to reach with my gun. If you see electrocute them, I'm gonna freaking get destroyed. Oh, I need to get one on you and just gotta mash buttons to get it off. Okay, there we go. Oh, fuck. So now, like, her uh, little absorby thing, like, appears more often than it did before in the first phase. It just, like, makes the boss fight go longer than it needs to. Shit. Oh, wait, wait, get her, get her! Ah. Alright, and then you dot hack data drainer. Whoop! Red Gecky! See, you don't actually destroy them, though. You save them. That's kind of nice, right? Maybe. I don't know. See, I still only got to see. That's fine. Ah, I'm a B person. New form, reselection, Dynatron. Yay. Hold on, plot. Boy, back. Come on, Will. Show a bit of enthusiasm. Perhaps you should show a bit of restraint, Dr. Sonda. This is only the beginning. Call, please transfer Beck's assimilated cell data over to my terminal. I okay. want to begin my analysis and see if I can isolate the root of the malfunction. Right away, Professor. My nice slip-ons, dude. They look comfy. 
Incidentally, Sonda, I caught a bit of news on the way here. Oh my the god. The president of Cherry Dynamics was insisting the source of the incident is Dr. Blackwell. Dr. White, what? Dr. Blackwell. Blackwell is a genius. Behind this. You must admit, there are similarities to his last plot to shut down every robot in America. You mean how this they this is about originated at the robot racism? Coliseum, but he was caught and arrested. Even Blackwell isn't clever enough to pull this off from inside a maximum security prison. Yeah. Indeed. I wonder why Mr. Graham seems so certain. Because he's well, evil. Enough of that. There's data to sift through. Sonda, can you continue assisting? You're throwing his boxes. Absolutely. Uh, let me know as soon as you discover anything. See, this also just very isn't very interesting to look at because they don't even have lip flaps. Even Mega Man 7 had lip what flaps at the very least. Alright. Well, that'll do it for this first episode. And from here, we'll go on. And we're going to take them all down. We're going to get all the mighty numbers. And we'll get them all. So, if you haven't seen this game yet, now's the time. We'll go through it together. Like friends. Right? Right. As always, thank you guys so very much for watching. See you next time! Oh, don't go in the glowy orange, I guess. Right. Oh no. The controls oh. are reversed. The controls are backwards! Oh! Oh! I freaking nailed them! Come on, come on, come on.